My name is Jim Al-Khalili, and I'm a professor of physics at the University of Surrey. Studying the innermost secrets of atoms and their nuclei has been at the heart of my working life. But there's another side to me. I was born and grew up in Baghdad to an English mother and Iraqi father but left Iraq with my family in the late 70s when Saddam Hussein came to power. By then, science was already my great passion in life, and as I studied it further, I saw myself fully part of the Western tradition, inspired by names like Newton and Einstein. But buried away was this nagging feeling that I was ignoring part of my own scientific heritage. I still remembered my school days in Iraq and being taught of a golden age of Islamic scholarship, that between the 9th and 12th centuries, a great leap in scientific knowledge took place in Baghdad, Damascus, Cairo and Cordoba. So I want to unearth this buried history, to discover its great figures and to assess exactly what their contribution to science really was. Are there medieval Muslim scientists who should be spoken of in the same breath as Galileo or Newton or Einstein? And crucially, what is the relationship between science and Islam?